Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss about Tom and Jerry game question from June Long Challenge. Okay. So as usual, Tom and Jerry are fighting. Tom has a strength TS and Jerry has strength JS. You are given the value of TS. We have to find the number of possible values of JS uh, such that Jerry wins the game. Okay. What the game consists? If TS and JS both are even, then they get divided by two and we go to the next turn. Both are divided by Second, if uh, both are odd, if TS and JS both are odd, in that case there is a tie. We stop and we print it is a tie. Uh, if TS is even and JS is odd, in this case Tom wins the game. Okay, in this case Tom wins. And if TS is odd and JS is even, in this case Jerry wins the game. We need to find out given the value of TS, how many JS values are present less than equal to TS and greater than equal to one such that JS wins. That means Jerry wins. Fine. So Jerry is only winning in one condition. Jerry is winning in the condition when uh, the strength of Tom is odd and the strength of Jerry is even. In only this condition, Jerry is winning. Fine. So let's take some cases. So let's say we have Tom strength is given to us as let's start with one okay so tom strength is one what is the possible value of minimum possible value of js minimum possible value of jerry strength is also one are they are it is odd but is this even no okay so that means there is no such value answer is simply zero there is no such value for which jerry wins jerry only wins when ts is odd and js is even but it is not the case in this particular test case let's take more okay so Let's say TS is now two. So JS for this is even. Okay. So for even, obviously Jerry cannot win. Uh, JS can have a value of one. Okay. So two and one in this case, Tom wins. So we cannot select this value. Let JS be two. So in this case, both are even, See, both are even divide both by two. So TS becomes ones and JS also becomes one. So in this case, both becomes one. And if both are odd, that means there is a tie. So now we cannot select one and we cannot select two. Okay. In both these cases, Jerry is not winning. We just need to select the cases where Jerry is winning. So for TS equals to two also, we have no such case. So answer is simply zero. Fine. Now we can easily move forward. Uh, what if TS is three? Now TS is odd. So if TS is odd, we just need to find out how many even values are there less than equal to three. Okay. Uh, and that should be our answer because for if TS is odd and we just need to find how many even values are there less than equal to the TS. So how many even values are there less than equal to three? It is just one value, which is nothing but two. So for T, uh, for this the answer is one. So for the odd value, we, it is very simple. If TS is five, we just need to find how many even values are there less than five. So it is nothing but two and four. So there are two such values. So for the answer is two. If TS is seven, the answer is simply three. If TS is nine, so how many or even values less than nine? There are four even values less than nine. So answer is four. What are those two, four, six and eight? Okay, so the if the given TS is odd, we can simply uh, write the answer as uh, the given value of TS minus one by two. Okay, so this will give us for an odd value, how many even numbers are there before this odd value? Okay, so if TS is odd, so this can be our answer. Now let's say it is not odd. So we have to check for TS equals to four. So if it is four, okay, and let's have JS value as even. So JS value can be two. Okay, so in this case, if we divide, so TS becomes two and JS becomes one. So this case Tom wins, so we cannot select J value, JS value as two. Can we select JS value as four? So in this case, it four it becomes two and this becomes two. So in this case, both are two. And then we again divide, so both becomes odd. So if both are odd, there is a tie. So we cannot select anything here in this particular scenario. Let's move forward. So let's have TS value as six now. So for TS value as six, can I select JS value as two? If we divide it, so it will become three. So TS becomes odd in this case. And, but JS becomes also odd. So therefore this value cannot be selected. Can we select 
4. So if we select 4 and we divide, so it becomes 2. Now TS value is odd and JS value is even, and this is the exact thing that we need. That means Jerry wins. So we can we can select a one single value that is nothing but 4. Can we select 6? So if we divide, both becomes odd and there is a tie. So we cannot. So we can select one value. For TS equals to 6, there is one value that we can select. So for 6, the answer is nothing but 1. Fine. Similarly, we can go for 8. Now if we go for it, we cannot select anything. Why? If you select 2 it will become 1 if you select 4 it will become 2 then it will become 1 and if you select 6 it will simply become odd in the next step if you select 8 it will become 4 to 1 so there is no case here okay if we go for ts equals to 10 now for ts equals to 10 here uh, by if we divide 10 by one time by 2 so it becomes 5 it becomes odd now there is a hope that whenever ts becomes odd there can be a value of js that we can select can we select two no once we divide two it will become an odd value we cannot select it can we select four yes just by single division 10 is divided to 5 uh, 10 is divided by 2 it became 5 4 is divided by 2 it became 2 now 6 no we cannot select can we select uh, 8 yes we can select it uh, can we select 10 no we cannot select so we can select 4 and we can select 8 in this particular scenario that means for 10 the answer is nothing but 2 let's test for one more value let that is 12 so 12 when divided by 2 becomes 6 and when it is divided by 2 it becomes 3 okay so in two steps 12 will become an odd number fine so what can be the value of js we need such a value of js that we, when we divide that value two times by two okay it still remains an even number that means that value can be selected if we divide 2 by 2 it becomes 1 we cannot select it if we divide 4 by 2 and again by 2 it becomes 1 it cannot be selected if we divide 8 by 4 and 4 by 2 yes it can be selected so 8 can be selected okay 10 cannot be selected and 12 also cannot be selected in this case it is a tie so we can select 8 fine if you want a bigger example so for ts equals to 18 do this for ts equals to 18 we get 9 in just single division so we need to select such values of js just by doing one single division the answer remains an even number so can we select 2 no by one single division it becomes odd can we select 4 yes can we select 6 no can we select 8 yes can we select 10 no can we select 12 yes we can can we select 14 no can we select 16 yes we can can we select 18 no we cannot select 18 so we can select 4 8 12 16 that is nothing but four numbers fine so just remember in this particular question that when we have an even value when we have an even value and uh, we have seen that it can it, for 2 4 8 you can see for 16 also for 2 for powers of 2 it will be uh, we cannot have any other option okay so there will always be a tie so therefore we cannot the, for all this the answer is zero fine but if that is not the case if we can make it if we can make this an odd number okay so in one division we can make this an odd number for in that case of 12 in two division we can make this an odd number so we just need uh, those numbers after two division or after these many divisions they remain an even number for js okay now just see for this in this example only if 18 is divided by 2 it becomes 9 okay so all the numbers that are less than 18 or the numbers that are less than 18 obviously when they are divided by 2 when all these numbers are divided by 2 okay they all will be less than 9 correct they all will be less than 9 because 18 by 2 is nothing but 9 so all these numbers will be less than 9 9 will be greater than all of these numbers fine so their division 2 whatever values are there they all will be less than 9 fine now since we just need those even numbers which after division becomes still remains an even number so we just need to count all the even numbers which are less than 9 and that will be my answer okay similarly for 12 now if we see for 12 after two divisions it becomes an odd number okay so we just need all those numbers which after two divisions still remains an even number and they are less than 12 okay so that is nothing but simply 8 8 is divided by 2 it becomes 4 4 divided by 2 becomes 3 now see we divide 12 two times okay and it becomes 3 so any number less than 12 when we divide it two times its value will definitely be less than 3 okay so you can see 2 becomes 1 4 becomes 1 8 becomes 2 10 becomes 5 and 5 divided by 2 will simply become 2 again okay 11 11 become 2 again 9 9 will become 2 
okay 9 divided by 2 will give you 4 and 4 divided by 2 will give you 2 they all will be less than 3 they all will be less than 3 okay so we just need to count how many even numbers are present less than 3 okay because 2 multiplied if you see in the reverse manner 2 multiplied by 2 uh, will give uh, 4 4 multiplied by 2 will give you 8 okay so simply what we have to do is we just need to convert our given ts uh, into an odd number okay and then we have to apply the formula of ts minus 1 divided by 2 okay that means the number of even numbers less than this particular odd number fine okay so for ts equals to 14 it will become what 7 all the all the numbers even numbers less than 7 are nothing but 2 4 and 6 so there are three such numbers which are less than 7 uh, which are even numbers okay so that means this was nothing but 4 4 was divided to 2 js value was nothing but 8 8 was divided by 2 and uh, js value was 12 and 12 was divided by 2 fine all these values are less than or equal to 14 and greater than or equal to 1 so they also satisfy the conditions fine if ts equals to 16 it is not possible if ts equals to 20 in this case 20 becomes 10 and 10 becomes 5 so all the numbers that are less than 5 even numbers that is nothing but 2 and 4 so this was nothing but 8 8 divided by 2 times 8 divided by 2 will become 4 and 4 divided by 2 will become 2 and this was nothing but i think 16 okay 16 divided by 2 gave 8 and 8 divided by 2 gave 4 fine so these were my original js values which is less than or equal to 20 and greater than or equal to 1 okay when we have 20 and when we have 8 so it becomes 10 and 4 and 5 and 2 so here at this stage of the game jerry wins because ts is odd and uh, js is even at this stage of the game jerry wins fine so we just need to check out these values that is nothing but uh, the number of even numbers less than an odd number in this particular question fine so let's see the code for this let's see the implementation it is a pretty straightforward implementation we just take t as the input uh, ts is in long long int because of 10 to the power 18 constraints okay uh, we are making if it is an even value okay till it becomes an odd value we are just simply dividing it by 2 okay if ts becomes whenever ts becomes an odd value this while loop exits and we simply print ts minus 1 divided by 2 now let's say if ts equals to 1 it is already an odd value so 1 minus 1 is 0 0 divided by 2 it will simply give you an answer as 0 okay if it is 8 so it will keep on dividing by 2 until it becomes 1 and as soon as it becomes 1 1 minus 1 will be 0 and 0 will be printed fine if it is 12 so 12 will become 3 and 3 minus 1 is 2 2 divided by 2 is 1 so for 12 the answer will be 1 fine so a pretty straightforward implementation here okay thank you